calm down over there. All right, Misty, Uncon again. So they have this for free. Do they push anyone off spawn? No, so they don't key caddy this game. Is that... It might be because they know Dukes is in the game, potentially. A lot of the time, you can check your friends list. So it wouldn't surprise me if these guys checked their friends list and saw it was Dukes and users there and said we don't want to key that. All right, uh, let's 4x this because they've pulled zone and there's 43 alive, so not much is going to happen. They're just going to sit here and, and uh, be patient. All right, this game is fucking stacked, though. Look at the names on this in this in this game. Stretch, uh, Justice, you know, Dukes team. Um, Reet, these guys, Mackwood, Narwhal. Like, there are some and this is a stacker. All right, let's get this. Let's get into this end game and see how they win a, win a game. See if they look to take Hyder, if, if they manage to win the heal off, and how they play for the heal off, all that. Don't have that far to rotate, so my guess is we'll see centered lead them in. Yep, here we go. So look at look at how much space. Look at how much space he looks to control straight away. He's not he's not fucking around with doing some small tart with like a like a one by one. Straight away he's into a four by four, giving them lots of space, making sure that they've got you know plenty of. If, they, if they're going to take any damage, they've got lots of room to move into. And you'll see, they try and leave a lot of it unedited. As soon as you leave stuff unedited and it's full, fully built, you're going to have um, have something strong to move back into. That's a really good idea. Have, having a lot of boxes with some stuff unedited that you can move back into, that's really um, that's really strong. It's that, uh, if you're looking to copper, or if you're looking to catch a, a lobby focus, it's a lot more difficult for them to, to spray you. All right, zone pulling into corny, so they kind of pull. So that looks like they're looking a pad from here. Now, this is an interesting thought. This is this is something that that um. So I I am always of the opinion this uh, this is this is a this is not a bad lobby for it. But if you're ever trying to short pad, and there's someone established on height, you should all short pad as quickly after one another as you can. As soon as a team sees you looking a short pad, they should be looking to make it a high pad, especially if they're an established team on height. Or sorry, if they can make that a high pad, straight away they've got lots of time to take try and take you out of the air. We've got another pair which they're going to look to use here. Commandment and Energy both, uh, sorry, Commandment and um, Center both have a pad left. So again, this dynamic of centered leading, picking the lines that he wants to get to, and as soon as they get established and on a layer that he likes, he's going to let Commandment take over, and he's going to jump out back with Edgy and look to fight. Short pad straight ahead to front of zone, and immediately they are the ones who control front zone straight away. So the idea of the idea of controlling front and low and these less stacked lobbies becomes a lot easier, right? There's only 28 alive. There's not going to be so much contention for it. There's not going to be, you know, five, six different teams looking to immediately press to front zone. Instead, it's going to be a lot more, a lot more chill. They also had the pads so they could get their first 100%. Commandment leading well. The same idea of controlling space out in the zone first. Like real, real basic stuff. But what you'll see from this team is no flashy stuff. Like, like there might be some flashy edits um, and or edit downs and you know a little bit more flashy stuff when it comes to getting kills. But the theory is so simple. It is control space, let people walk into that space and kill them when they do. So once again, first team to control low as zone moves ahead. That, that there is there is a clear and obvious moment. Where they go, okay, we're no longer we're no longer focusing on kills. Our sole focus is on getting ahead here. Or uh, sorry, commandment doing his thing. Send it happy to play low ground here. And now commandment's gonna heal up, so send is gonna take over. And cutting them off nicely. So you're now starting to see the idea of that space control across multiple areas. They're not just building a, a tarp with one layer. You know, they're not they're not just controlling one area of zone, they're controlling multiple. By spreading themselves out and controlling all of the space because they've still got... Sender himself still has 420 builds left. Commandment's got 370. Edgy's got 200. They have so many mats left and they're only entering third moving. They have so much time here to start controlling and start killing people. So where's Commandment? Commandment still keeping them ahead here. And look at the way he's really starting to spread themselves out. They now own everything here. Look at this. This is This is crazy. The amount of space, they are literally just walling off this entire portion of zone for anyone on low round to walk through. Just walk straight into it. So straight away, send it out back here. He owns everything. Everything. If these guys want to walk past the this row of this row of boxes in here, he owns it. If they want to try drop in front, they own this entire set of low ground. These guys want to come up top. They're going to control the flats and the cones out front here too in a couple seconds. They're immediately going to have full control over them, drop them down, and it's game over. So he just misses the edit there. So straight into the edit downs because they can. It's all about space control. 
It's not necessarily peace, it's just controlling the space. So you see, trying to take it as early as they can. But they just own everything. They own everything, which means they always have the drop on any team who's trying to contest them at any point. They, they just... It's, it's, it's unfair. It's unfair. They own so much space. And Commandment is just still controlling everything. This guy is a fucking machine. This guy is like the unsung hero of this team. Obviously, centered and edgy. Honestly, edgy is probably the unsung hero of this team. Because he's always fucking fragging out. He's always doing his job. He is, there's never a moment where he's not doing exactly what he should be. Just a robot. Control space. Control space. That's all I've got to do. Still controlling space. I mean, obviously, the, the, the 1v1, 2v2s at the end come down a lot to heal game and how what you've got for that. Center managers, center got the, the mid cut off so that they win this. Picks up the siphon, and he wins with the siphon as well, gets the two. Centered so fucking good. But I mean, just like an absolute, absolute masterclass on how to play low ground. It's, it's unbelievable how good these guys are. Just consistency. Absolute consistency.